Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again with another Wiz Bags Workshop card review in the Mad Men. The absolute Mad Men, the I've done it. Shutterwalk is back. He's different this time, significantly different, but Shutterwalk is returning with this expansion and we got some other cards to go over. Oh boy, uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. And by the way, if you wanna win these cards, including like Shutterwalk and all this madness, uh, we have our giveaway going on for three mega bundles, two regular pre-orders out of my pocket to enter the giveaway. Like and comment in the video, link to the description below. Be subscribed to the channel and every thousand subs we get until all the cards are revealed, I believe next Saturday. I will add another mega bundle, so hit that sub button. Make me go broke. So looking at the new Shaman cards, we have first the Shining Sentinel, a seven mana, three seven elemental. It has taunt and the new keyword elusive, meaning it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Battle cry, summon a copy of this. So um, you just get another one. It's like 614 in taunt right out the gate. That's not targetable. Um, obviously you could make, maybe hand buff this or whatever. Maybe you can play the battle cry multiple times. There's a shutter walk we're gonna look at in a second. Um, it does seem pretty slow, uh, but man, it's a lot of like stats on an untargetable uh, body, but three tack is typically not amazing. I can't think of a lot of ways to hand buff this card outside of what Therizane, that doubling this becomes like a 614. Yeah, good luck with that without like a mass AOE effect. It's an interesting one. It's slow, but if elemental battle cry shaman can work, uh, this card is going to be a really hard card to get around and to play like a crazed alchemist and like OTK almost if it sticks around. So um, I don't know, man, it's really hard to evaluate if this archetype is gonna work. We're gonna see the battle cry stuff coming up is pretty nuts. I think can help push this along. I'm not gonna completely write it off. I'm gonna give it a three to five in standard, like, a one in wild where I do think it'll be way, way too slow, but yeah, it's another uh, summon a copy of this for wild shutter walk that repeats like all battle cries. So you could, I guess, do that instead of like uh Serenite chain gang, but you just want the cheaper version for that. So it's not like you get another uh, elusive sentinel or elusive shutter walk or anything like that. But yeah, I'll get a three in standard, a one in wild. Next, we have a new shaman location, the fairy tale forest, a three mana location. It has two durability. This draws a battle cry minion. It costs one less. So you can get that taunt. It's six mana. That's a lot better right away. But any battle cry minion, period. Um, and you're probably gonna be wanting running to wanting to run a bunch of battle cries. I don't see why you don't play this, like, right? Like it's three mana draw two, although it is pretty slow, right? It is like an arcade intellect that has minus one mana on each, but you gotta wait to use those uses. Like if you play it on three, you hit it, you draw the one, it's dormant for like a turn, then you can hit it again. I think that's worth it still, but yeah, it does have a pretty slow implication to it. Um, but it feels like it almost could be two mana, honestly. I'll give it a reluctant three because locations, again, historically been so good and you get that immediate draw right away, you get that mana cheat right away, maybe you can play it in the same turn possibly. It, and Shaman does not have the best draw options. They never really have. So it kind of makes sense for the class. In a while, I, I think it's way too slow. Uh, and you, re you already have like the Murloc tutors and a lot more options there where I'll give it a two. But um, yeah, if it was two mana, I think this card would be pretty darn cracked. Uh, next, we have the Sand Art Elemental. So lots of elementals here for Shaman. Really hopefully going to get that working together. Um, considering, yeah, Elemental Shaman has not really panned out so far. We have, yeah, the Sand Art Elemental, it's a four mana, four, four. It's a miniaturized card, so you get a mini, a one mana, one, one version. Battle Cry, give your hero plus one attack and win fury this turn. So you're automatically just playing this on curve without doing anything else. You get a four, four, and you can deal like two damage and one damage increment. Obviously got synergies with like weapons, attack buffs, and the mini will also be a one mana version of this, right? So you can combo that with other things in wild. You have like the Alakir hero power or whatever, but that already gives you win for you. So why do you need a double dip on that? Whatever, uh, but still uh, a really solid card. Uh, getting that, basically getting another elemental, the mini version is like super helpful too, to keep like all your elemental chains going if you're doing that strategy. 
strategy, trying to cheat out the giant or get the big scar to do a lot of damage. This is a really nice way to constantly have elementals push damage. The one mana version is really good. Again, I don't know if Elemental Shaman is going to work. It hasn't yet, but it's getting a ton of support to the point where I think it will. And I, I, I don't see why you don't want to play this card. Like, I think it's really solid. I'll give it a four for standard and a two in wild. Although, giving this battle cry might be interesting in Shutterwalk. Like, I could, I could already see the mark OTKs of, like, just getting infinite damage um, from your Shutterwalk from Sand Art Elemental as it could give your hero the attack, right? Infinitely. That's, uh pretty darn scary and then lastly we have the new shutter walk but he does go by a different name it is shutter block a six mana by five so he's not nine mana miniaturize battle cry your next battle cry triggers three times but it can't damage the enemy hero so you get one six mana shutter walk or shutter block uh, a mini and you want to see how it works we actually have a video to demonstrate exactly how it works You play your shutter block, you then play a battle cry, it goes off three times, like the fizzle there, you get three snapshots. The Astalor interaction of wild, I have been told, it does not go face. It does say don't damage the hero, so that includes effects like Astalor, I guess like a life drinker. I, it somehow will make the, the enemy hero immune with blizzard coding. I don't see how this won't be buggy as hell. But the fact that it can't go face makes me a little bit less worried about it. But just think about the battle cries you could do. You could get like three Ignis weapons. Um, you can rat three minions. You could loathe them three times. And you could follow it up, right? You play your six mana shutter walk into that battle cry. Then you play the one mana one into another battle cry. That is so much value. We all know how crazy battle cries are. And when you trigger it three times, whether it's an AOE effect, a healing effect, a value effect, a disruption effect, there's just so much you can do with this card. It seems absolutely insane to me. Think about it with Scar. You play this on six. I guess you'll have to play the elemental with it. And then you play your Scar, which is ramped up. It, it'll deal that AOE three times. And then you can do it like, or you can set it up with the one mana version too, right? I'm giving this a five. I think this will see a ton of play in standard and wild i'm giving it a four in wild just because i think shutterwalk is the ultimate five-star shaman card i don't know maybe maybe it is a five-star card in wild too but this absolutely is a terrifying card it will only lead to like degenerate stuff in my opinion like oh i'm uh, i'm gonna play it to get some extra elusive taunt value no you're gonna do something even more disgusting but yeah you can get more elusive taunts right so there is a lot of disgusting things you can do with this and it is um yeah, it's a pretty good tribute, I guess, to the original Shutter Walk, not as degenerate as it doesn't just cast every battle cry, but yeah, three times. We all know how good like the Macaw was back in the day. That card was outright busted. Imagine three battle cries. That was pretty gross. So yeah, uh, five stars in both, uh, or five stars in standard, four stars in wild. Let me know what you guys think about of the cards in the comments down below. One more Shaman reveal coming later today. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.